Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick Nigi. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Get Smart. More specifically about the actor who played the chief on Get Smart, Edward Platt. Now, if you're a fan of Get Smart or other classic TV shows and movies, liking, commenting, and subscribing is a free and amazing, amazing way to support the channel. It lets others know that these videos are what you like and worth watching for them as well. And it helps me out, helps keep these videos free, so I truly appreciate it. Now, what is so interesting about Edward Platt is that he is kind of a mysterious figure. I mean, he was so instrumental in the show Get Smart, but he has a hidden secret that I did want to let a lot of you know, and that is that he did have a lot of health issues that he did cover up during the show. That is, I mean, I guess we can say there weren't anyone's business because he was, of course, playing a character, the chief on the show. But he endured a lot of suffering, a lot of difficulty on the show. He encountered very serious back problems. Now, these back problems um, ranged in uh, being very moderate to severe and very painful for him. In fact, this was a reason why he didn't appear in many episodes of Get Smart. Here are some episodes that he didn't appear in because his back pains were essentially too strong, too difficult for him to even be on set. School days, Who Done It, Fear of Smart, Witness for the Execution, The Spirit is Willing, When Good Fellas Get Together, The Mysterious Dr. T, and it keeps going on and on and on. Now, he did narrate some of the two-part episodes as well, which is good. But also, in addition to this, there were many different reasons why he sat a lot during the show. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, it was agreed upon that many of the scenes where he appeared allowed him to sit down. So if there was a scene where he was talking with Max, they would allow him to sit at the chief's desk, or sometimes they would allow him to sit on the side of a car, on top of a car. There's an episode where he does do that. Other episodes where he's sitting down at a, in a courtroom. Basically, I showed you here six different episodes in which he's sitting down for many different reasons, and there really isn't a reason for him to sit down other than they were trying to get him to sit down as much as possible. These scenes would have probably been shot differently with him standing up, with him walking, a lot more kinetic shots. But no, the static shots of him sitting were to make it a little bit more easier for him, a little bit more comfortable. Now here's another shocker which relates to this whole saga. Now if you look up the reason of death of Edward Platt, it was originally reported that he had a heart attack at the age of 58. But as time went by, one of his sons confirmed that Edward Platt had actually taken his own life in 1974 after two previous attempts. He was suffering from an undiagnosed and untreated depression and he also had financial issues. Of course, this is very sad, but it was also stated that some of these issues and depression stem from the pains and the difficulty that he was experiencing in his back issues. And it's really surprising that many people didn't know this about Edward Platt. It's kind of a sad little ending, a sad little story, but it was known that Don Adams, who played, of course, Maxwell Smart, did know the real cause of his death. And now I just wanted to let more people know about this because, I mean, my channel is, of course, a way to honor and to memorialize these individuals who have given us so much entertainment, even though they are no longer on Earth. They still entertain us, and so I wanted to give a little bit more insight into their lives so it can show us a little bit more into how we can relate to them in our current struggles. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you are a big fan of Get Smart, if you knew this about Edward Platt, if you really learned anything because I really, really love to know. And again, I love to spread some of these good things about these actors in terms of how he endured so much doing this show. He physically suffered doing this show for our entertainment. That is the whole realm of this video is how good some of these people are that they put so much into their performances in order to entertain and make us happy decades and decades after they're long gone. Thanks so much for the support as always and don't forget everyone, be hopeful. Thank you to all my supporters, especially my diamond tier patrons. Vito L, Sally N, Kevin K, John O, 
Jennifer P, Jerry D, David D, and Citizen Kane 359. If you want to join others on this list, please look at the description below. Thank you so much.